What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm about to show you guys something pretty crazy and it's how to install jailbreak themes onto iOS 14, no jailbreak, directly from the repo. So basically what you're used to when you're jailbroken, when you install a theme, you can do the same thing on iOS 14. There's a bit more work to it, but it is possible. Now this isn't gonna be like downloading it through Cydia and then Snowboard just enables it. You still have to manually um, set all of the icons with an application like Icon Board. If you guys need to see how Icon Board works, I'll leave a video link in the description. Uh, I covered that a while ago and it explains how to use these files to create app icons like you guys are seeing. But uh, this is pretty insane. Now, this only works for free themes. It does not work for paid themes and I've tested this out on the Twict repo and the Packix repo. And the reason why paid isn't going to work is because from what I can tell, there's no way to authenticate your profile with your purchases on a non jailbroken device. Now I'm calling those repos out because I know there's gotta be a way that you can authenticate your device with a profile or something um, on a non jailbroken device. So Packix and Twict, if you're watching this, I would recommend getting on this wagon because I think that this is gonna be pretty big, especially for people that don't have a jailbreak and they wanna use the best themes there are. So what we're gonna to do to start this is we're gonna go into Postbox. Now I covered this app a couple of days ago. It's really incredible. I'll leave the video link for Postbox down in the description. No jailbreak required for this, like I said. So let's go ahead and go into Postbox. And like I said, you can basically search through any repo on Postbox, uh, which is really, really cool. So uh, like I said, this works for free themes and not paid, no paid packages. You can do this, only free stuff. Um, so if you guys are curious if a theme is free, I mean, you can go into Packix, you can go down to the themes section here, and you can kind of just go through each package. And if it's free, it won't have a price tag like you guys can see right there. So if you just kind of search through all the different themes, you can find the ones that are free. Now, I know one off the top of my head that I've been testing just for video purposes. So let's go ahead and go to search. And the theme is our Amara. 11 as you can see there and we're gonna go ahead and select on that theme and as you can see it is free There is no price from here. You can click the button. You can do direct download. It'll jump you into Safari Go ahead and download The package as you can see in the upper right there now the download is complete now We can go ahead and click on the file now from here We're gonna open it with a application from the App Store called unzip So we'll click the little share sheet and there is unzip I'll leave the link for that in the description as well. So let's go ahead and jump into unzip. And as you can see, we now have the deb file in here. So from here, really straightforward, just click on the deb. It'll extract it, go ahead and click into there. And the next part is you wanna go into the data. So that is where all of the icon images are gonna be found. So go ahead and extract the data. And now we can go into data, go into library, and this is basically set up uh, obviously for a jailbroken device with the file system extensions and all that. So uh, we can go into themes and then you have the UI themes, uh, the Eve iOS 8 complete theme, um, Eve badges. So you can't use any UI or badges or anything like that. Uh, but if you go into the complete theme, you can go into icon bundles. And as you can see, there are the icons that are used in that theme. So from here, what you can do is you can package this up. I believe there's stuff in here as well. Yeah, so there is icons in here as well. Um, what you can do is you can basically click the little eye here, and then we're gonna send this folder. And you wanna send it to your iCloud drive. At least that's how I like to do it. You could, this is all file system manipulation, so it's kind of up to you how you wanna do it, but I'll do save to files. And as you can see, there is my themes section there. And I'll just name this new so it's easy to find when we go in there. So just click new, and then we'll save it to my themes folder that I have set up in iCloud Drive. Give it a second to transfer all of the icons over.
All right, now that all of the icons have transferred, we can leave out of unzip. We can go into our files here, and then we can go to our themes folder, which I have created because I like keeping everything nice and organized. And if we find new, it is right here. And as you can see, here are all of the images. Now, from here, you can go into icon board and you can create the theme and you did it all directly from the repo, which is insane. So if we go in here, just for example, I'll just do icons, import from files. We'll back up, we'll go into the new folder, just like so. And let's say we wanted to create an icon for, I don't know, for this. There you go. As you can see, I imported that icon. I can now click on it. I can tell it which application to open up. And it is, it's, it's pretty crazy. I'm pretty shocked that I figured this out. So this is totally possible. Like I said, it's only for free themes and I've only tested out Packix and Twix repos. Um, like I said, I'm hoping that Packix and Twix will somehow update their repos so that you can authenticate your iOS 14 device with them that will allow you to download the .devs onto iOS 14, no jailbreak, access to image files and use them. That would be absolutely awesome. But anyways, that's how you can use um, Cydia jailbreak themes directly from the repos on iOS 14. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.